Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You may remember the video I put up recently about um, an eBay purchase of this watch. Now for three pounds, I won this fan time little mechanical Swiss movement watch, um, non-working or not working properly. And along with it, the um, seller kindly included a couple of freebie watches. A little Ingersoll and an Excalibur. Neither working. Um, so this is an update about all of those. So firstly, the van time. Now, cosmetically, I've given it a good clean up, a polish. I managed to get quite a few of the major scratches out of the um, crystal. It's looking a lot better just using whitening toothpaste and a um, microfiber cloth. But the main issue with this that the um, seller did describe was that the crown, um, when you turn the crown, it was just turning the hands and it wasn't winding the watch. Now the watch is working. You see, I've just given it a little tap and off it goes, but it's not working brilliantly. So it'll work for a while, then it'll stop. It, you know, it does need a service, but, it, but it's kind of pretty much working. So the first thing I did um, when I got it was see if I could address this crown uh, stem issue. Now, I'm not a watch repairer at all. I have no clue, but I can just kind of look at things. Maybe this is something that simply needs adjusting. I thought it was worth a try. So to show you what I mean, let's just get the back off quickly. Okay, so with the back off, there's the stem crown, and just next to it, there is a tiny little flathead screw just there. And you need to loosen that, and then you can pull the, the stem crown out. Now, I had a set of screwdrivers, this set, which I bought off, bought off eBay, pretty cheap, but the smallest screwdriver there isn't small enough to uh, do that crown stem uh, screw. So I went back on and purchased some more precision screwdrivers, these ones here. Again, they were only about four pounds for the set. Um, they've got a um, turning head, which the other ones didn't have, and they have the slotting um, little screwdriver ends. Now, it's the old adage, you get what you pay for. And that's very true, it seems, when it comes to precision watch screwdrivers. Now, these all look very good, but they're only as good as this end. And unfortunately, they're not machined very well. So it wouldn't turn the screw. I did try using a better wet and dry to get it um, into a better shape, but alas, no joy. They might be, the bigger ones might be okay, but these smaller ones, they're not machined properly. That end is not good enough to, to turn that screw. So what I ended up doing is actually using pliers to small set of pliers to get either side of that screw and that managed to shift it. It was very tight. I mean, that was part of the problem as well, it was extremely tight. So once I managed to unscrew the screw, I could take the crown out and um, I found by playing around, putting the crown in and out, just at the kind of sweet spot, you could wind the movement, but it's not correct. I mean, it has to be out about here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. It takes quite a bit of fiddling around and then suddenly it catch and you can wind it. I'll just have a quick look, so bear with me. As you see, it's winding there. So you have to get it just in the right spot, but it's not correct. And even when I tried to tighten the screw back in that position, it wouldn't allow it, it kept kind of dropping off of that position. So I've left it loose for now. There's something wrong there. And when I was taking the crown um, in and out, there was actually black dust on there. So I think there's something broken in the mechanism and it was coating the uh, crown uh, shaft thing. So I'll pop that back on. 
so it's a shame there's you know there's something not quite right there with the um, crown shaft but perhaps someone will be able to fix that so what I plan to do is pop that back onto eBay and um, let someone else have a go at that who's more knowledgeable than me and perhaps they've got a lot of crown stems maybe there's a better one that will fit it better if that's not the correct one that's in it and with this new strap that I've put on which I said I bought from Aliexpress for about four pounds I think it really suits it it's got a nice buckle I'm quite pleased with that it really has got a lovely 70s look to it I'll just show that on the wrist Okay, so here's the, the Van Tine watch on my six and a half inch wrist. It's got a really cool 1970s look. The person who was selling it, they actually mentioned that they didn't like the shape of it, which is ironic because I thought I love the shape of it. It's got such a cool style, that 70s style. So it's a shame it's not working properly but hopefully someone will be able to repair it. So on to the other two watches. The Ingersoll, alas, I couldn't get working. Um, the mechanism seems to be quite stuck. I've done what I can, but I think that needs either a major service or well, there's something wrong with the balance wheel spring because it didn't seem right. But what I have done is given it a good clean up and put a cheap leather strap on. That was about £1.50 from AliExpress, which actually is not a bad strap. The straps from AliExpress aren't bad. I mean, they're so cheap. And again, I will pop that back on and maybe someone can either fix it so I focus, can either fix that or use it for parts. And then the Excalibur. Now this one's a little bit more interesting. There's something a bit odd with this one. Okay, can you spot the mistake? I think that's a mainspring issue. Because the movement itself looks in quite nice shape. Again, I've cleaned this up, given a, a lovely polish, and I've put another AliExpress strap on there, which I think suits it quite nicely. I'll give you a quick look at the um, movement on this one. Again, somebody who knows what they're doing, not me, may be able to fix that uh, mainspring or put a, another mainspring on there. Okay, so there's the movement. Um, I tried to get it working, but it's not really got any life in it. Yeah, it's all a bit gummed up. And obviously that mainspring issue as well, but it's quite a nice little movement. And that was a nice freebie from the um, gentleman who sent me the Van Time watch. So all in all, not great success, but partial success. We managed to get the van time wound and working a bit better, but we haven't got to the bottom of the issue of the crown stem. The other two watches, yeah, I mean, he sent, obviously he's not going to send me working watches. He sent me a couple of freebie broken watches, which I've cleaned up and um, new straps. They present very nicely now. and maybe someone can fix those. Yeah, it is a shame about that van, Tom. I would like to have worn that. Anyway, thanks for this update, guys. Take care.